Oh, welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. And today I need to design a welding fixture so I can weld angle iron. I can so I can square it up and make it flat and exactly square in my welding fixture table. So I'm going into a Libre Atom here. And I'm going to start by creating a sketch. Um, first of all, you you click on the XY box here. Click Activate 2D Sketch, and now I've activated a 2D Sketch, and I can start with a 2D Sketch. And now I'll make a 2-inch tab 2, enter, 2-inch by 2-inch square. Inside that 2-inch by 2-inch square, I need a 620 thousandths inch hole. Well, actually, I will need that in a little bit. First, I need to extrude this. This is the whole sketch for right now for this. Or I could just do this in a single sketch. I'll show that to you in a minute. But first, right now, we're just going to do a rectangle, a uh, square. And I'm going to extrude that by a half inch. 0.5, sketch one, I'm going to go reverse, okay, and then I can go back to activate 2D sketch over here on this field here, I can project to sketch this, 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 and this. All four of those edges, okay. And now what I can do is I've got a center now. And so that set center can be 620 thousandths, enter. And now I've got to get rid of those uh, those four pieces. Let me show you what happens when your sketch isn't quite right. So I've deleted that line right there. I'm going to deactivate sketch, and it's going to give me an error. Show me. What's the error? Well, I've got open loops. There's an open loop. And it's telling me where the ends of the open loop are, right where that line is missing. And there's overlaps and self-intersections and degenerate failures, uh, or figures, or rather. Um, yeah. There might be a degenerate figure behind the keyboard, but we won't talk about that. Um, so that's all the things it's checking for. So you analyze, it's got an open loop, and that's it. Okay, well, that's the only problem. Well, we're going to go back over here. We're going to delete those pieces anyway. There. Deactivate sketch. Now we're going to extrude by half inch. That sketch we put there, if I can find it, it's going to be sketch two. All right, I've got to regenerate that. So generate, regenerate all. Okay. Now, we're going to have to extrude that right there, I think. I didn't get the sketch. There. Two. Extrude. There we go. Click OK. And now we flip it upside down. And we're going to have another sketch. All right, put a sketch right there. Project this line, this line, and this line to the sketch. Okay. Now I'm going to go down by a half inch. So we're going to go down by 0.5 from the top there. We'll go across this whole thing. You know what? I don't have to be exact. I'll show you why. So we'll just escape. I'm going to highlight this one here. Oops, I'm going to escape a couple of times. Get to, to select. So I'm going to delete that line right there. 
And this line here, I'm not going to delete, actually. I'm going to trim it. Trim that back to there. Trim that line back to there. Also, if I'm going to check and see how these are intersecting, I can click intersect, intersect, go on the end that I want to intersect with the other line and click both lines. And there we go. Now I have intersected that line, with that line, and that line, or that line. Now I'll do this line here and this line here. And finally, this one here, this one here. That makes it all very happy, hopefully. And it is very happy. So now I can go to extrude. And I can extrude, extrude sketch three by an inch and a half to make the to make the L even. And there we go. That's a part right there. That's all I need for a bracket. But let me show you another way to do this. Let's create a new part. So we'll show you another way to make this part. Oops, activate 2D sketch is what I want. Right here, there we go. Now, we're gonna do a rectangle. We're still gonna be two by two. Okay. And now we're gonna do the hard part first. So the hard part is, 0.5, come on, not 0 0.2, 0 0.5, down from the end. Now I go 1.5, down here. I'll go down here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do 1.7 because we're going to trim this. So we're going to trim this line right here. We're going to try and trim this line here and this line here. And now we're going to intersect this line and this line, this line and this line, this line and this line. See how those dimensions disappeared? They're just like this and this, this and this, and finally finish that off. Everything's well constrained now. Deactivate the sketch. Oh, we've got a problem. What is our problem? We have an open loop right here on the end. I probably deleted too much. So we'll take a look over here. Yes, I've definitely deleted too much, it appears. I think, maybe not. Oh, well, I had too many lines there. Ah, so you can check your work by just deleting and uh, clicking the Control Z undo to uh, make sure you don't leave it deleted. So we'll just put this back right here, intersect it, just because, deactivate sketch, good, it's happy. And now we'll extrude this by two inches. Actually, I can make it just about any length I want, but uh, I want this one to be two inches by two inches. Okay, and now, See the hard part's done first. Now I can go to the, apparently this is the top. I did it upside down, but that's okay. We'll make a, a 3D sketch right here. And we'll project this to sketch. Now we'll find the center. Oh, it's not so easy to find the center this time. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, never fear. The line is here. We'll make a line from here to here. And now we can make a line from here down to here. That'll find our center, no problem. Right there. All right. Now take our circle tool. 0.620. Okay. Now I've got to delete all this. Uh, stuff that I don't need, all these extra lines. There, all those extra lines are now deleted. 
deactivate sketch. And now I can take an extrude by 0 0.5. There we go. One part and two sketches. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now it's time to export this file to the slicing software. So we're going to go to File. We're going to Export. Export this is a step file. And we'll go to Angle Iron Welding Fixture. I've already named it, so that's, that's what uh, this one is named. We'll just export it again. Yes. Step file was exported in centimeters. That's fine. Um, we can change the unit if we want to, but I don't want to. It doesn't really matter uh, if it's centimeters or inches, as long as the 3D printer understands what it's slicing. Now, over at the slicing software, this is AnyCubic Photon Workshop V2 for my AnyCubic um, 3D printer. Your slicing software may be different, but the basics are the same. You want to open the file up that you've uh, sliced. And I saved that over here in engineering drawings. That's where I saved mine. And you're looking for a model file. And this one highlighted is the model file. Just open that up. And yeah, it opens up kind of upside down, but we can change that around any way at all, like this. Maybe we'll do it this, this way. Oops. Reset. Do that. Now I'll move this. You notice how it's dark gray on that pin? And that's outside the printing area. That's why it's dark gray. You can't print there. So we'll just slide that right into the right area, and we'll make some more pieces here. Now the goal here is to print four at once. And that's what I'm going to work on doing. I'm going to work on having four print at once. So I'm going to bring that into the print area. Duplicate. I'm going to spin this one around here. How about on the x-axis? How about on the y? There we go. All right, so there's that. Right in there. Get it out of the gray area. And we'll slide this one over. As long as there's a gap, that's all that matters. Duplicate. Can we make this work? It's kind of tight, but I think so. There we go. Make it fit on the, on the base here. All right, now you'd think we're done, right? Well, we're not done yet. We have to slice this. We've got it into the slicing software. Oh, now I see we've got an area right here. I gotta pull that back in. It's important to check these things. Make sure you're, you have everything in the print area. You don't want anything highlighted as not printable. Because if it's not printable, it won't print. So that looks like it's going to print. So we'll run the slicing. So it's how, this is how it prints from uh, the base. Prints up like this. And then it's finished like that. So we're going to slice this. We're going to take a look at how it's slicing. Didn't expect any troubles. It's a pretty straightforward part. Save the disk. Angle iron welding fixture. Sure, why not? That's what I saved it as before. And there we go. That's saving the part. It'll take a little while to... Slice it all up, saves it in each layer, and uh, then 
we can bring it down to the 3D printer. Now here's what makes these fixtures special. So I've got a piece, a couple of pieces I've got to weld together, like here and here. So now I can make these square. Probably a bad example, but let's put it up backwards like this. There, now, now that is square, square with the, the fixture table. I clamped all this down, like right here and here. then I can get a nice square and flat weld. And that is the whole reason I did these fixture blocks. There we go. Gonna end up with some better locomotive frames because of a little bit of 3D printing. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video in the shop. These little blocks from start to finish. Uh, in a future video, we'll actually get to use these making some locomotive parts. So uh, stay tuned. There's more to come on these little blocks right here on the Millbrook Railroad channel. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if we did deserve it, hit the subscribe button if you would, please. And uh, if you'd like to become a channel member or a patron on Patreon, you may do that. Go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. Or you can become a member here on the, uh, uh, on the, on YouTube. And, uh, of course, there is our Discord server. We have a free tier, and we also have a paid tier um, on the Discord server. So, certainly check that out. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.